Hard Talk is on the road in northern Greenland, one of the most remote regions of our planet, to try to make sense of the political arguments about climate change. That the Earth is warming is now beyond doubt. But who will lead the international response to that warming? And to what extent can and should any new climate deal reflect one basic principle, that the biggest polluters should pay the biggest price. That's, well, let's In talk about what it does mean from the point of view of Australia sure. then. Your government, uh, in, admittedly a major change of heart from the previous Conservative administration, has said that you will now push for a, uh, a, a cut in your carbon emissions and you will match that with a cap and trade scheme to make sure it happens. But the fact is, the scale of the cut you are talking about is nowhere near the cut that the science tells us countries like Australia needs to make. Well, well, let's 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 talk about the cut. We put on the table um, 25% reduction of well, two, five percent, two five percent, no, 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 no. only 25%. Yeah, yes. 20, if, if the rest of the world move, and the 25% uh, is uh, within that the range that you're discussing. But let's talk well, about well, no, no. Let's yeah, talk yeah, about. Again, that, I have no, to stop you because no, it's not. Well, the science says it needs to be a 40%. No, it doesn't. This is 25 like, to 40 is what is what one version of the burden sharing is. But let's talk about the burden sharing, shall we? Australia is a highly carbon intensive economy. The dirtiest that, country in the world by some measures. Well, that's a highly <laughs> provocative way of, of talking about it. People also buy some of the exports that we export, including Europe. Of course they do, but yes, per no, capita your yeah, emissions yeah, exactly. are higher than virtually any other country It is, it is one the of the world. highest. Now, uh, that doesn't mean we shouldn't act. On this because you in mean. India, <laughs> alongside the Chinese, have said, you know what, if we are to make uh, good on our responsibilities, we have to see the rich world, including Australia, cut by 40% their emissions by 2020, based on 1990 levels. We've just heard from Minister Wong that Australia is nowhere near prepared to do that. So what's your response? My response is, this is not good enough. Uh, and uh, let, me, let me clarify that uh, it is not our argument, certainly not the Indian argument, that India will not do anything unless we see the developed world deliver on, say, 40%. We have determined in our own interest that unless we make a long-term shift from our current reliance on fossil fuels to a pattern of economic activity which is based essentially on renewables, India's long-term growth interests will not be served well. But in making that shift, of course, we have to recognize that our resources are limited. 